Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video for the day, right? Great, chosen one. Facing setback. Are you facing setback? Then you've clicked on the right video. Let me speak into your life. Whatever setback that you are facing will shine forth your comeback. Whatever disappointment that you are facing will shine forth appointment. Whatever shame that you are facing will shine forth the glory of God and the grace of God in your life. Whatever discomfort that you are facing will shine forth comfort. Whatever pain that you are going through, suffering that you are going through will shine forth relief. Whatever captivity, slavery that you are in will shine forth deliverance. Whatever sickness, disease that you are combating right now will shine forth healing. Whatever addiction that you are suffering, oh, by the grace of God, you will break this addiction. This addiction will go. This addiction you will see no more. Whatever that you have lost, I don't know how you lost it, but I tell you, there is going to be a restoration. There is going to be a divine visitation. There is going to be a divine empowerment. There is going to be a divine connection. The Lord will show you his mercy. The Lord will show you his favor. And there is going to be breakthrough in every effort, every action that you take. As a chosen one stay right with me to the very end of this video and i tell you your life ain't going to be the same again it will change for good those who laugh at you will see the glory of god in your life those who laugh at you will come and laugh with you enjoy with you rejoice with you i'm telling you you will be celebrated soon and very soon you'll be celebrated be patient and trust in god chosen one our proof test will be taken from the book of luke luke 5 verse 1 to 11 luke 5 verse 1 to 11 all right at your free time make sure you read it all right but the proof text i'll be reading i'll be reading from um luke 5 verse uh, 5 to 8 this is what i will be reading all right great so let's quickly look at that the verse 5 says master simon answered we work hard all night, long and cut nothing. But if you say so, I will let down the nets. They let th them down and catch such a large number of fish that the net were about to break. Verse 7. So they motioned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full of fish that the boats were about to sink. Verse 8 says, When Simon Peter saw what had happened, he fell on his knee before Jesus and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinner. I want us to focus on the verse 5 and 6. Okay? Peter said, Master, we've worked out whole night long and cut nothing. This is a statement of frustration. This is a statement of setback. It means Peter has been there to have something, but wasn't having what he wanted to have. And you could see from the spoken word that he was indeed facing setback. He was frustrated. All right? Yes, that is a statement of frustration and tiredness. And most of us, many of us, we are facing such thing because we keep asking of the Lord. We keep working hard. 
and it feels like the results are not what we are expecting or what we've been expecting. We work hard, but the harvest that comes is very small, it's very meager. It's not enough to even feed us, to clothe us, to shelter us, to rent for us, to put, you know, to take care of our family. So it's like we are facing setback as chosen one. Chosen one, let me inspire you. If you have God, you have something wet more than silver and gold. I'm telling you. And today, if indeed you are going to believe with a conviction in your mind and heart that Jesus is Lord and the word of God is yes and amen and true for your life and you are going to personalize the word of God for your life. What has happened to Peter will happen to you. Yes, what has happened to Peter is going to happen to you. Out of whatever setback, Whoa, come, your comeback. Out of whatever ashes will shine forth beauty. Out of whatever disappointment, rejection, betrayal, name calling, denial, I mean, whatever will shine forth the victory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord in your life. God is going to turn your situation around. God is going to make you big. God is going to bless you with abundance that you cannot even contain and you will have some to spare. That is what is going to happen to you if only you believe. Jesus said to Peter, Peter, cast down your net here. That statement from Jesus is a statement of certainty and assurance. It means Jesus was not playing a guessing game. Our God doesn't guess. His words are yes and amen. What he say he will do, that he will do. If he say he's going to bless you, he's going to bless you. That is why he said in that book of Numbers, I'm not a man that lies, nor a human being that changes my mind. What I say I will do, that I'm going to do. If only you will also have the same mindset, to align, to connect with that of the spoken word of God for, your, for yourself in your heart, it is going to happen to you. You see, Peter believed. Peter believed aligned with that of Jesus. That is why he acted. Your mindset, your belief, and mind you, I've been saying every belief is just a mindset. Your mindset must always go with your actions. As Peter believed, right? He said, Lord, if you say so, it's out of frustration. But still, he has some kind of belief. Lord, if you say so, then I will let down the net. And boom, he took the action. He acted as he believed. That led to him taking action. He took action and boom, it happens. What is it telling us? It is telling us or teaching us that it is not all up to God. The word of God is there. But it is up to us to personalize the word of God for ourselves and act on it. Jesus is saying to you, you have, you can. So that should be the words you should be confessing for yourself and act on such words. Faith say, faith say three things. I am. I can. I have. If you are something, you don't worry. If you can do something, you act. If you have something, 
it makes you live in peace and in harmony. You don't fear, you don't panic, you don't worry. That is faith. When you truly have faith in God and rely on God and trust in the word of God, your heart will always be at rest. Hmm? So, faith is always saying, I can. I have. I am. So Peter, I mean, acted on the word by casting the nets at the place where Jesus said, cast your nets here and you are going to make a catch. He did it and boom, bumper harvest. They couldn't even, I mean, pull it. They have to beckon on other people, other partners on the sea to come join them. That is our God. He is a God of abundance. And if you truly believe in him, he will change your situation. Well, out of whatever scarcity that you are facing, there is going to be an overflow, an abundance. He said, out of you will spring forth the river of living waters. That is going to flow. There's going to be flow of abundance. That is God. There is no lack in God. There is no scarcity in God. And when you believe, you need to act. Chosen one. Stop saying, I am sick and tired. I am sick and tired. So will you be. Faith say, I am. So use positive thing. I am great. I am powerful. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am opulence. I am abundance. Abundance is my birthright. You are claiming it. You have it. So you claiming it. Abundance is my birthright. Being free is my birthright. I am free. I am healed. That is what the scripture said. It said, let the poor say, I am blessed. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the, the, the sick say, I am healed. But today, when we are going through hard times, some sickness, what do we say? Oh, it's paining me. It's paining me. This pain will kill me. You are prophesying your future. And so will your life be. In fact, that pain will kill you. That disease. Oh, this disease. Oh, this thing will kill me. This thing will kill me. Oh, my children will kill me. They will one day kill you. The word you confessing for your life, you are prophesying into your future. You are speaking into your own future. Because your words are powerful energies that cast spell on you. Chosen one, when you are facing setback, speak positivity and continue to think positive. Positive mindset. Your positive mindset must always align with your positive words and your positive words must always align with your positive action and that will lead to positive habit and that will lead to positive character and that will make you unstoppable. Yes, chosen one. That is it. Peter believed, has a positive mindset and acted to positive action, took a step. That tells us it is not all up to God. It is up to us as well. We have a part to play to make things happen in our life. Yes, when you truly believe in the word of God, right, the rewards will be showing in your life. And one of the greatest reward is that there's going to be peace. You have, you are, you can. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That should be your confession. I believe in the word of God. I believe in the supremacy, the power of God. I know this, my situation is going to change. But you don't just confess it. You take action on it. If you know it's going to change, you take action towards it to make it change. You speak the word for your life. And as you do in that, you are prophesying your future. That is why I am. I am great. I am motivated. I am inspired. 
I am honored. I am opulence. I am abundance. I am serene. I am calm. I am peaceful. I am love. These things are positive affirmations. And what are affirmations? They are self-prophecies that you are giving to yourself. You are prophesying your future. That's it. Stop saying negative things about yourself when you are facing setback. Because that is not who you are. That is just a moment. And no situation lasts forever. That will also pass away. Nothing lasts forever. It will definitely pass away. I'm telling you. Out of whatever you're facing, learn to remain positive. Learn to keep on confessing what God says concerning you. Not what the devil is telling you. The people, the opinions of people. But what is God saying? What is the word of God saying to you? Confess what God is saying. Yes, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Yet though I walk through the valleys of shadows of death, I will fear no evil. For the Lord is with me. His staff protect and comfort me. Yes, these are the things you should be confessing. His love and favor will pursue me all the days of my life. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Therefore, there is no condemnation for me that I believe in Christ Jesus. I am a child of God. I am chosen and not forsaken. In my father's house, there are many mansions. And indeed, so will it be if the Lord is your shepherd and you will not want. Why are you complaining, lamenting? If you keep complaining, you will be manifesting more complaints. Yes. Most of our troubles are time troubles. We should have positive mindset. And our positive mindset must always go with our positive conf confessions and actions and habits. And I tell you, your life will never ever be the same. Out of whatever ashes will shine forth the beauty of the Lord in your life as a chosen one. Peter acted on the word, the spoken word of God. And if you will also act on the spoken word of God and begin to take action now to change the course of your life, so will it be. Because Jesus loves you just as he loves any of his disciples, apostles. It's the same love that he has for each and every one of us. And remember, he knows the disposition of every person's heart. He knows the disposition of every person's heart. If you truly accept him inside of you, that he is your Lord and personal Savior, and beside him, you have no other God but He alone. So will your life be. The Holy Spirit will take charge over your life. Stop keeping malice, bitterness, grudges, holding offense. Let go and let God in. Let the Holy Spirit take control and work on you to change, to transform you. And those who mock at you, who laugh at you, will come and laugh with you. They will come and celebrate with you. They will come and dine with you. They will come and rejoice with you. They will come and play with you because God is going to turn your situation around and there is going to be an overflow in your life. Your family that have written you off, they will come to you for help. Yes, they will come to you for help because your God is the God that is living, that is active, that saves and rescues. He never does, not slumbers. What he says he will do, that he's going to do because he's not a man that lies, not a human being that changes his mind. 
believe in God. Believe in Christ. Believe. And your belief must align with your words, with your actions, with your habits. And I tell you, your life will never ever be the same again. Your setback will tend to your comeback. Out of whatever pain will tend to gain. Your pain will tend to gain. Out of whatever reproach that you are facing will tend to break through. Because you will find yourself acting with God, dining with God. And indeed, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That's it, chosen one. Remain positive in negative situations and in negative circumstances and you will keep on winning. And that will be the secret to your success. I'm telling you. God is saying to you today, out of whatever ashes will shine forth beauty, out of whatever setback will shine forth your comeback. What are you going through? Are you going through some setback in your business, in marriage, in whatever? Trust in the Lord. Believe in the Lord. And He will see you through. Our God is still in the miracle business. He's still the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Chosen ones, thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.